I'm like, yeah. Hey, so what makes a man? Is it his external? You know, his bling bling, you know, um, rings, watches, jewelry, the cash he's flaunting, or is it more internal? Is it, you know, strength? Is it confidence, loyalty, bravery, sacrifice? What are the qualities of manhood? And what should we consider masculine features? When a term, or when you hear the word man, what image automatically just comes to your head? Is it a man fighting? Is it a man, you know, slaying somebody, fighting for his family, standing up, providing for his family, covering his family? You know, those are the images that I see in my mind when I think of what it is to be a man. Now, while both genders are certainly capable of demonstrating all the qualities I just noted, are there elements more characteristically identified with one gender or the other? Maybe. I don't think it really matters, but at the same time, we're talking about men. So what are the pillars of masculinity? What are the facets of femininity? What is the strength and splendor of manhood? And what is the beauty and glory of womanhood? Let's look at 1 Kings 2, verse 1, 2, 3. It says, David, the son of Jesse, was a man's man. Even when David was dying on his deathbed, he called his son Solomon and said, Hey, come here, come here, let me tell you something. He said, I'm going the way of all the earth. Be strong, therefore, and show yourself a man. And keep the charge of the Lord your God to walk in his ways to keep his statutes, his commandments, his ordinances, and his testimonies according to what is written in the law of Moses, that you may succeed in all that you do and wherever you turn. So if you read that again, again, 1 Kings 2, verse 1 through 3, you know, David's words provide us clues, instructions, you know, even demands. He says, be strong, show yourself a man, keep the charge, Walk in his ways, keep his command. Be the man is basically what they were saying. And in case young Solomon had any doubts of what a man was to be or do, David gave him a solid definition. So I'm gonna end it here, but at the same time, just think about what it means to be a man. Definitely, if you have children, what it means to be a man, because you gotta cover those kids. And every day I pray for my kids, all five of them, that recognize what their gifts are, that they are covered, they are protected. You know, I have kids there in, in all different states. So as a parent, you know, I I won't say I worry, but I want them to be protected, you know, all throughout the day. I can't be with them, but I know somebody who can. And even when I don't talk to them every day, I ask God to cover them, I ask God to comfort them, or whatever it is they're going through. So do the same, think about what it means to be a man and how you can apply that your everyday life. Deep stuff. We gotta think. We gotta show up. Man. We gotta continue to show up each and every day. We gotta, what's that say? Set the culture. Because everything rises and falls on us. We can't just, you know what I'm saying, sit passively, sit down, let our women run the house while we're just, you know, doing nothing. You know, and that's not all bad, but at the same time, God calls us to be men. He calls us to rule and cover our household. We can most certainly